Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with another knife review. Today we'll be looking at the Dominator 35 ventilator from Daryl Ralph and DDR Knives. Now if Daryl Ralph is not a name that's familiar to you, you're not alone. I wasn't familiar with Daryl Ralph either until rangestore.net sent me a selection of the Dominator 35 variations to photograph for their web store, and I absolutely fell in love with them got a chance to get hands-on with them, and was really blown away, particularly by the, uh, I was really, really impressed with this ventilator model, and you know, needless to say, when I shipped the knives back, uh, this one didn't make it to the return trip. I kept this one for myself because it's such a fantastic knife. Uh, let me explain why. Now again, Daryl Ralph uh, has been in business for a very long time. He's been uh, knife making for you know decades, and he's really one of the OG uh, custom knife maker does really high-end custom you know bespoke uh, knives that are works of art that any collector would uh, you know really just kill to get their hands on he also makes a line of mid-tech knives in the tactical folder space that I'm such a fan of anybody who follows through my lens here knows that I've reviewed knives from all the great uh, mid-tech tactical folder uh, makers we're talking about Reeves, Curtis, Hinderer, uh, just Strider, all, all the big ones. I've owned them all, and this one is my favorite. It's, it's the best one I've ever tested, and I'll explain why. So here's one of my favorite uh, tactical folders. It's a ZT, a Zero Tolerance 0562 CF. Great knife in every respect. It's you know definitely uh, one of in the knife community loves this knife for everything that it brings to the table, but it is a heavy knife, relatively speaking. Probably not if you work in a shop or maybe work outside, you wear jeans every day or a heavier pant, you can clip this to your pocket and you can wear this no problem. It, it's, it's fine for that, but that's not me. I work in an office. I wear dress pants or a suit most days and I don't want to clip a knife to my pocket. I want to drop it inside the pocket. And when you do that with this knife, the weight of it typically drops it flat into your pocket, which, which makes it bulge. Uh, it's unsightly. It comes, becomes very obvious that you have a knife in the pocket. It just doesn't work well. Uh, this particular knife, even though it has a car carbon fiber handle scale, it's actually a very thin piece of carbon fiber laid over a stainless steel handle scale. So the design really doesn't benefit from uh, the carbon fiber material and the weight reduction that you can, that you can enjoy from that. By contrast, the Dominator 35 ventilator has a solid carbon fiber handle scale here. Uh, so you get all the strength and all the, the lightweight uh, benefits from carbon fiber. But moreover, it has been milled and material has been removed from the carbon fiber handle scale for even greater weight reduction. And you can see that theme also on the titanium frame lock side that's been anodized blue, it's gorgeous. Uh, you can see there's also some material taken out here, not only for aesthetic reasons, but also some weight savings. As a result, this knife is only, uh, it's less than four ounces in weight. It's about 3.8, 3.9. So when you put this into your pocket, when you drop it down, you forget about it. Uh, it's practically invisible. It doesn't uh, make any unsightly bulges. It's uh, relatively slender, so it doesn't make a big outline. It is a perfect EDC knife if you're in an office environment and you do want uh, the capabilities of a, of a knife like this, uh, more of a tactical folder that can you know, be used for everyday you know, cutting purposes, but also can flex into a defensive purpose if needed. So it is just fantastic from that respect. And again, because it's Daryl Ralph, because he is a custom knife maker, there are all kinds of fantastic details uh, that, that have gone into this knife. Let me say right now that this video is a supplement to my written photo review that can be found on Through My Lens. Most of the uh, details and specifications of this knife are going to be found in the written photo review. The video supplement is really just meant to uh, you know, get some video footage of the knife out there. But again, three and a half inch blade. It's a Tanto grind. You can get this knife in either a Tanto or a compound grind. I opted for the, ta for the Tanto, uh, but it was kind of a coin toss because the compound grind is also a really nice look as well. It's uh, made from S35BN blade steel, which is a Hall of Famer. It's probably one of my top three favorite blade steels. You get great uh, uh, hardness, uh, great edge retention, but it's also a steel that is not particularly difficult to sharpen. Uh, 
so that and the finish that's gone into this really make this a knife that you want to use. You're not afraid to sharpen it. It's not difficult. Um, the finish is what I would call more of a battle-worn finish. You can see that not only in the DLC coating that's on the blade, but you can also see it uh, again in the anodized titanium uh, frame here. You can also see there's a, a steel insert in the frame lock. Fantastic uh, design there. Uh, very innovative. I'll also point out the pocket clip. It's not a cheap uh, pressed piece of steel like a lot of knife makers put on their, their knives. This is a 3D mill titanium pocket clip that's very attractive. Uh, it's a little stiff to get it, get it onto, uh, onto your pocket when you want to clip it to your pocket, but uh, once it's on, boy, it's not going anywhere. Uh, really like the pocket clip a lot. The action on this knife is incredible. I wish there was a way in the video that I could truly impart to you how smooth and effortless that knife is to flip. It's absolutely like glass. I've never flipped a, a knife that's any better than this. Daryl Roth does have a proprietary uh, captured bearing system in the pivot. So, uh, you know, no matter how you flip it, how you hold the knife, upside down, whatever, it flips out very easily. You can see that the blade is, is perfectly centered. Hopefully that's coming out in the video okay. But the blade is perfectly centered. The execution is beyond reproach. So much quality into the fit and finish. It's as nice of a knife that, that I've ever owned, and I, I, it's fantastic. Head on over to rangestore.net and to check out the uh, Dominator 35 ventilator. They carry the full line of, of, of Dominator 35. I've got another article on Through My Lens that goes over uh, some of the different variations of this knife. Again, this is my favorite, but it won't be my last. Uh, it certainly won't be my uh, my last uh, Daryl Ralph DDR knife, that's for sure. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.